Well, you know, I I upload my wins and losses. I'm not one of these people that say, hey, look at me, I won every match. Just look at my YouTube channel. You know, I think it's important to show flaws as well as good character traits and abilities. And I'm just chatting with you while I'm waiting for an opponent. But, you know, that's just... I, there's another video that I've posted, I just showed it, or I'm sorry, I just, I just played it. And uh, it was of two 2014 Godzillas. They both had 1,500 wins. Now, you know, I mean, I know we like, all like to look and say, wow, that guy's got 1,000 wins, that guy's got 5,000 wins. And, you know, you've got to have some skill to get that many unless okay unless you always play with your little buddy and you guys always team up on people if you do that enough times then you're gonna get lots of wins you know so it's like it doesn't show uh, it doesn't show any skill whatsoever so you know I tried to be satirical making fun of the situation while I was in battle with them because I got my butt kicked I mean as I've often said how can any kaiju I don't care who you are as far as a player. How can you attack from the front and protect your back at the same time? Because the problem is, for example, looking at this video now, I'm going to do what I call my vines, okay? I can't do that if someone hits me from behind while I'm hitting the buttons to do my vines. So that will not only takes health away from me from behind, but it disrupts my ability to attack the opponent in front, which means then most likely the attacker in front is also getting an opportunity to hit me. So instead of me being able to do that and take some life away from my opponent, some little moron and his buddy one hits me from behind makes it impossible for me to make my move so the other one hits me in front now trust me I've played 70% of my matches as double teams and I'm getting used to being able to still beat people it's just that when I play I have to beat both of them because they aren't fighting each other they're looking at just trying to take me out and it's look it's it's unprofessional and it's unsportsmanlike it's not how the game should be played okay I think most people when they play games and they earn trophies and they achieve things there's a sense of value behind that because like wow I played and played I improved my skills and when I win now it's because of my abilities not because I'm cheating not because someone else is holding my hand and helping me win but gosh darn it because I practiced I improved my skills and I went out and I just fair and square beat the other players so if any of you young guys who are under the age of you know 15 are listening to this because I know this is a lot of little kids get on here and play Godzilla you're not proving anything to anybody when like right now if these if these two were fighting and I snuck up behind burning Godzilla and I started smacking him and spraying him I'm not proving anything to anybody other than I can hit buttons on my controller 
it does not take any skill to attack someone from behind when they're unprotected and they're trying to fight someone in front. That is no skill whatsoever. So your little win total means nothing. I have a win total of 1,473, I think, in that area. And I can be proud of my wins because I don't cheap shot people. Every win that I have, I won fair and square. Those are solid victories. So I don't hang my head. And, and when people see, you know, there's a 1500 win player, they're gonna get someone with skill to play them. Because I had to develop skill to get those wins because I didn't do it the easy way by double teaming and cheap shotting people. Now I've got a tough challenge here because there's every possibility that Burning Godzilla, well, there you go. You know, he obviously feels that his skills are not sufficient to beat me. That he's got to try and do damage to me when I can't protect myself or when I'm battling another player. So, even though he's a burning Godzilla, which in my opinion is the most powerful Kaiju in this game, he must feel so insecure in his abilities that he has to try and hit me when I'm weak and when I can't defend myself. So, we'll see. Now that I'm free, and I know that I'm a quality, good player, we'll see if I have skills enough to come back and beat him even though he spent, you know, half the time of this match so far just cheap shotting me. And, I mean, other than like one tail smack, I think so far all I've really seen him do is fire, fire, fire. But, you know, it's, it's hard to come back and win a match when somebody has robbed you of half of your life because, you know, they obviously felt they had to try and take you out while you were unprotected. So that's the way I have to play now. I have to know how to beat two tough opponents because they're going to cheap shot me and come after me. So that's what skill does for you.